Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Filter Power Apps Gallery by SharePoint Lookup Column. Here you can see this is my SharePoint source list like departments and inside this I have added two columns like department and manager and this is my destination list like employee onboarding. Here I am adding the lookup column like department. Now I will display these records on a Power Apps Gallery control and filter the gallery by this lookup column. For that go to the Power Apps. First of all rename the screen. And always you should remember whenever you want to connect the respect to SharePoint online list to the Power Apps, just go to the data section. Here select the add data, then search SharePoint. Here select your respect to SharePoint online site. Then choose your respect to SharePoint online lists. Then choose connect button. Now go to the default screen. Here insert the gallery control using a insert tab. You can also change the layout as per your needs. Now set its items property like. Here you can see I am using filter function to filter the SharePoint online list based on the department value like IT. Now go to the preview section. Here you can see the gallery will filter and display each record from a SharePoint online list based on the lookup column value like IT. Next example I will show you how to filter the Power Apps gallery by drop down lookup. For that insert a another blank screen. Now set its screen on visible property like. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection employees. This is my new value like all to display the all the values from the SharePoint online list. And this is my SharePoint online list lookup column like departments. Now insert a radio button control. You can also change the radio button layout from vertical to horizontal like. Now set its items property like collection name. Here you can see you will get the all the lookup column fields including the all value. Now insert a gallery control. Now set its items property of a gallery control. You can see this is my radio button control name like radio departments. This is my SharePoint online list and this is my lookup column like department. Now go to the preview section. Here you can select any value from the radio button control and that gallery control will display the records from the SharePoint online list based on the radio button selected value. Next I will explain how to work with two different gallery controls and filter the SharePoint list records based on the lookup column. Like whenever the user select a value from the first gallery, the second gallery filters and displays selected lookup field records. For that insert a another blank screen and rename the screen like now insert a gallery control then set its items property like here you can see this is my source list name like departments. In the same way insert a another gallery control. Now set its items property like. 
here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like employee onboarding this is my lookup column name department and this is my first gallery control name like gallery departments now go to the preview section select any value from the first gallery control the second gallery control will filter on display selected lookup field records like this yes friends this is how to filter the power apps gallery by using sharepoint online lookup column i hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you